Hey guys, you're always asking for me for an apartment tour here in South Korea. So let me show you my mother-in-law's apartment because she doesn't live in it currently. She had a stroke five years ago and is in a nursing home, but we still take care of her apartment. So let me show you and, let, and I'll also let you know how much it costs. She's got the cutest pictures on her door. But if you flip around, and keep in mind, this is gonna be a small apartment. Uh, there's always a lip here so that all the dirt from taking your shoes off will not get into the rest of the house. So here is my mother-in-law's apartment, which is the same size as my apartment upstairs, but we have a lot more stuff in it, so it seems much smaller. <laughs> um, she has a little, a small little, I guess you would call this a living room, but it's not really a living room. It's just a big area that has the kitchen. Um, my husband has a TV down here because his friends sometimes come down here <laughs> and hang out and drink beer and watch TV. Um, so I'll move into the bedroom, um, which this is a two room apartment. So it's not really a bedroom, living room type of thing. You use the rooms however you want. So there's no closets, you have to buy your own closets, um, which is why if you, if I turn around here, those are <laughs> ours for camping. Um, you'll see that she has armoires here. That's the extent of this room. They are heated floors, which is very common and in, in, in normal in Korea. <laughs> so um, here is the kitchen. It is very small. Um, looks bigger on camera than it is in real life. Um, there is no oven because in Korea we don't use ovens. There's no microwave. There's no garbage disposal. Those are not common in Korea either. Light switches are on the outside of the wall, and here's the bathroom. Always, well not always, but common but to have a bidet. There are wet, uh, wet bathrooms, meaning that everything can get wet. They're just all tiled, and they have a um, drain at the bottom there. A shower head, we would never use this because the water comes out too fast, and then you don't have enough uh, hot water to finish your shower. Uh, because the <laughs> water tank is about the size of a small suitcase. I do want to let you guys know, I asked my husband how much this apartment costs because even though we have the same size apartment, my husband's been living in our apartment for like 15 years, so he got in super cheap. This apartment cost about $10,000 US for security deposit and about $550 to $600 a month for rent. So when I tell you guys that apartments are expensive in South Korea, I'm not kidding! <laughs> I wanted to show you real quick, there is the water heater. And as you can see, it's very small, so you better use your water wisely. <laughs> okay, so something that's not common in South Korea is a dishwasher. And a friend of mine here in South Korea gave me a little dishwasher to use, so I thought I would actually show you uh, what it's all about. Dishwashers are just not part of Korean culture, kind of like uh, clothes dryers are not a big part of Korean culture. And um, it's not that apartments in South Korea can't come with one because newer apartments, some of them do, but um, I have one friend that has one and he uses it to store extra <laughs> dishes. So let me show you the little refrigerator that my friend gave me because she has never used it. Here it is. That's also my tiny little garbage can. Let me show you more in detail. <laughs> My kitchen is really tiny, I know. So as you can see, it is very small, um, but I'm so thrilled to just have one because let me tell you, there's nothing I hate more than washing dishes. Oh, I'm so happy to have one, but it's pretty small. It doesn't hold a lot, um, but I don't care. Like <laughs> the fact that it, all these little things I don't have to wash by hand anymore, thrilled to death. Let's put a little soapy soap in here. Close this girl up. Bloop. Cute sound. Bloop. Ta da! That's all. <laughs> Listen, you don't realize how much you miss something until you don't have it anymore. So I am thrilled to death that my friend gave me this. <laughs> Welcome to South Korea. Okay, you guys, so we just got back from our Costco TikTok Live, and I know a lot of you missed it. But anyway, I thought I would do a Costco haul video for you on what um, I got here at the Costco in South Korea where I live. So let me show you. Okay, first of all, you guys know I love my poor man nachos here in Korea. These are the most expensive chips I've ever bought, but I buy them frequently. We also, my husband found these. It's supposed to help deter mosquitoes. And you guys know I'm getting eaten alive here in South Korea, Korea by mosquitoes. 
Sorry if I sound out of breath, it's because we carried all this food up four flights of stairs to our apartment here in Korea that doesn't have an elevator. So let me keep showing you. We also got my husband's co oh, where is it? coffee. He loves these is drip coffee. They're individual, um, which is awesome. I got some uh, ground pork because ground hamburger in Korea is too expensive. This was about $15, so not too bad. My husband also got some mackerel because we love making fried mackerel. Uh, we got some American pork. Uh, I think this was about $35 for this little pack. I mean, it's not little, little, but you know, it's pretty spendy. And some Johnsonville broths, which were kind of expensive. I think they were like 15 bucks for the two. Kind of ridiculous, but you know what? You do what you gotta do. We also got some kimchi, which I can't live without. I love my kimchi, great for your tummy. I also got some grilled chicken. My husband calls this emergency food, but um, what he actually means is he wants to eat all the jerky. <laughs> I got me some salsa because um, I need my salsa, even though again, kind of expensive, but what can you do? And the grand total for all these things, which was 11 items for about $176. So uh, now you know what I bought at the Costco in Korea. <laughs> Sorry you guys missed the live. Annyeong! Hi you guys, I live in South Korea and I am staying in an apartment that actually has a bathtub, which is not common in South Korea. But it's super small, and I want to show you how small it is. Okay, first here is what it looks like. I put a towel in there because I took a shower, and I'm going to sit in it now to show you how small it really is. Oh my god, here we go. Uh, as I'm getting in, I want to tell you guys, in these high-rise apartment buildings in South Korea, um, some of them do have bathtubs, but the majority of homes in Korea don't have them because it's not really a big part of Korean culture, but I'm going to show you how tiny this is. Keep in mind, I'm 5'8". First of all, my hips, I can barely squeeze my fat little hips into the sides of this bathtub. Like, it kind of hurts because I am super squeezed in here. Also, I'm 5'8". I don't know if you can see, but I cannot stretch out in this bathtub at all <laughs> i can barely i can't i can barely fit y'all and i'm really really trying to squeeze in here <laughs> but you know what at least i got one beggars can't be choosers okay so here is what i did in a day living in south korea oh my god what a gorgeous day today the view's not bad either <laughs> And my neighbor has got some veggie tables coming in. Then my husband and I went for a walk um, to go meet up with some friends at a fast food place. Did not eat fast food. Um, I did get this cool like limeade drink though that was pretty nice and fancy. You notice the glass was real glass. Then we actually went to Burger King for lunch. Dude, when did fast food get so freaking expensive? Oh my God, $10 almost for a, half, a meal? But anyway. I uh, wanted to show you, of course, there's free Wi-Fi because Korea has Wi-Fi everywhere. And then again, the glasses in South Korea, if you're staying in, will always be real glass and not plastic. And there, look at that, there is my king. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> this is such a cutie pie. Then I got a haircut. Finally. I needed one. It's getting hot in Korea. It's like a thousand degrees. And then we met up our friends uh, for dinner and uh, my husband and my friends got makchang, which is like pig intestine, but not me because uh, I'm basic. Um, but the food is delicious. Yeah, if you can tell, I'm so full. But then the more food came and then we took a taxi home. Like a flow for more about South Korea. Okay, you guys, I live in South Korea and there is something that I really hate about living in South Korea. I don't know if I want to show you, but it is the mold in the bathrooms. So in South Korea, our bathrooms are wet bathrooms, meaning that the walls are all tile um, because everything just kind of gets wet. That's not really the problem. The problem is, is that South Korea is very hot and humid and it is really a harbinger of mold all your all summer long last year i mentioned this i got a ton of suggestions i tried some but i think it's just one of those things that if you come to south korea you just gotta learn to deal with like even over here actually i changed my mind i don't want to show you just trust me there's some mold in that bathroom my husband and i do clean it often but what can you do <laughs> 
Like in the winter, it was mold in my bedroom, and in the summer, it's mold in the bathroom. <sighs> Hi, you <goal. laughs> Oh my god. Okay, you guys are never going to believe what happened this day. All right, so I was invited to my friend's house for a Hanu beef dinner. This was really cool. We, she invited about 30 of our closest friends. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, Hanu beef, super expensive, but it's Korean beef. It is amazingly delicious. But while we were having dinner, suddenly the power went out because we had too many of these girls going and it it made the circuit breaker trip. So it took a whole bunch of my friends to try to figure out how to turn it back on. So I live in South Korea, sorry my hair is wet, and my husband is gone for a couple days. So I'm gonna show you some stuff I'm gonna do while he's gone that I'm not supposed to. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner on and I'm gonna leave it on all day. I'm gonna be really daring. I wanna wear my shoes in the house. Wait, no, actually, he'll find out. I better not do that one. <laughs> Gonna eat my dinner on the bed. Yes. I already spilled it on myself, so that was a really bad idea. I'm gonna sleep with the TV on all night. What else am I gonna do? I'm gonna eat my husband's jerky. <laughs> Go tell him. I'm also not gonna wash the dishes until the morning, even though, yeah. I know I'm supposed to wash them tonight so that there's not a bunch of bugs in my apartment by morning, but you know what? I don't have to do it. Actually, I do. I better do that right now. <laughs> Would you eat this? The octopus is not alive. Don't worry. I keep telling you guys here in South Korea, cars are all white, black, or shades of gray. <clears throat> Let's see how long it takes before we see a car of any other color. <laughs> white, black, gray, <clears throat> white, 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 black, black, white. Black gray. <laughs> this is why it's like a scavenger hunt to find a car of any color. White, black, white, 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 black, gray, black. <laughs> I do love South Korea though. You guys also notice how dark these tinted windows are tinted? Super dark. You could not get away with having windows tinted this dark in America. I will tell you that right now. But it is really nice on these hot sunny days. Okay, you guys, I have a question about the South Korean apartment I'm staying in. Um, and then it's in the bathroom. Let me show you my question. Okay, so here's the toilet. It's relatively normal, okay? Everything here looks normal. All right, all right. So let me shut this door. What, <laughs> what is that for? Like, if I sit on the toilet, like a towel rack but why would there be a towel rack this low to the floor right in front of the toilet I'm completely stumped I mean no shame you do you but I just I, I don't get like what the purpose is for is it for moral support <laughs> everyone welcome to South Korea um, when my friend Martha was in South Korea visiting we went to this uh, brass museum here in South Korea and I took this video and I forgot to share it listen <laughs> it makes a sound. <laughs> my husband could not help himself pushing the button. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. But take a look. They actually have this video here showing you how they used to make this brassware in South Korea back in... Oh, I forgot to read the information. It was a long time ago. <laughs> but a lot of this we still use today, which is kind of cool. And they even had a cool video for us to watch. And someone getting their head shaved bald with a very old knife. <laughs> Those are cool. Guess what? I'm 
glass between me and these bells because I'm so tempted to go rock them. <laughs> Here's some ritual tables I thought I would show you guys. Here's another ritual table. This one I believe was the setup for the king. And this one was a religious ritual table. And down here they had a really cool animatronic setup for you to see, like, just take a look. They're gonna show you how they make some of this stuff. They all move. How cool is that? This is uh, not exactly Disneyland, but it's educational. <laughs> like and follow for more about South Korea.